We will be using a 3906B Mustad hook, diamond dub holographic dubbing material, and marabou as our tying materials today. Place the streamer styled hook in the vise, like so, and secure on your tying thread, bringing it back to the bend of the hook, and then wrapping forward roughly one quarter length of the shank back from the eye, creating a small bulge that will serve as a seat for our eyes. The eye will consist of a chain bead cutting off two and securing it to the shank of the hook using a figure eight pattern of wraps. Roughly five or six wraps over the shank and then going in a circular motion just underneath the eye to tighten those wraps down making sure that the eye is securely fastened to the shank of the hook. Bring the thread back to the bend of the hook and then we will then apply a small amount of head cement just to lock the eyes to the shank. Now we'll select two to three marabou plumes lining up the tips that we will tie in as our tail. We want the length of the tail to be roughly two-thirds to three-quarters the length of the shank of the hook measured off and tied in at the bend two to three wraps should be enough. We'll then trim the quills of the marabou so they will be just long enough to come to our eyes on the shank. Tie down the quills to the shank of the hook all the way up to the eye and bringing the thread back to the bend, the original tie-off point for the tail, where we will make our dubbing loop. Pull off four to five inches of thread, wrap around, bring it back, and tie off again, bringing the thread back to the eye of the hook, which will later be our final cast off point. Then using our dubbing loop tool, we will feed our dubbing material into the loop. looks uh, slightly thicker than it is just because of the light and the shadow on the dubbing material. But feed the material into the loop enough to fill it and spin the loop tool feeding the twists up the line and creating our dubbing rope. Once we've created a nice tight dubbing rope, we will almost palmer it forward, creating the body of the leech, bringing it all the way forward to the eye, our bead eye, that we've tied on. Wrapping it over the eye and right up to the eye of the hook where we will then tie off our dubbing loop with three or four loose turns cutting the dubbing loop and securing it down with five or six tight turns and then going into creating the head 
of the leech. Pull out any loose fibers that aren't quite locked into the dubbing loop. Whip finish. Four or five turns. Trim our thread off. And lock down with some head cement. sure the eye is clear of fibers and glue. You can then use a toothbrush or wire brush to pull out ends of the securely locked dubbing fibers to create a nice bushy profile to the leech. Making sure to stroke the fibers back, and there's our finished product. Some colors, patterns. The Diamond Dub Holographic Leech.